the seven wonders of the world. Christ the Redeemer, the Taj Mahal, the Great Pyramids, truly man's greatest achievements. But there's one man who sees them differently. I built a that should be going, what's been going on? <laughs> Carl Pilkington. I don't know the politically correct term. Close your mouth. More, I think. He is a round, empty-headed, chimp-like moron. And he's a friend. You're not meant to laugh, you're meant to go, ooh. He's a typical little Englander, and he doesn't like going out of his comfort zone. Ah, ah. I just think that it'd be amazing to send him around the world. My eyes have never been so busy. There's always something there going, look at me. So you like that, so your neck, by the end of today, my neck will be well and truly worn out. What we'd like to see is him experience other cultures and see if in any way we can change his outlook on the world. It's like something me, me Aunt Inora would have, sort of next to the telly. I've been to many exotic places. I genuinely think travel uh, broadens the mind. I want him to hate it. I want him to hate every minute of it for my own amusement. Nothing is funnier than Carl in a corner being poked by a stick. I am that stick. And now I have the might of Sky behind me. Shit. Shit! This is one of the funniest, most expensive practical jokes I've ever done. And it's going to be great. Just let me go home. Oh. Jesus Christ. Next up, Carl. Chichen Itza in Mexico. Never heard of it. No, I know you'll think it looks a little like a pyramid. Yeah. Not just about the, the building, though, is it? Mexico, very different to Egypt. A completely different country, on a different continent, thousands of miles away. Used, of course, for human sacrifice back in the day. Yeah, the death thing's good. Right. So as opposed to celebrating life and culture, you want to go around... Well, that's more relevant to me than this, isn't it? A pyramid well, isn't for me, is it? I'm not going to use a pyramid, but I am going to well, die. It's not about death. And the yes. great thing is, Carl, that in a lot of these countries, it's a very high murder rate. Yeah. So there's a strong chance that you or one of there's, the crew could get killed. Maybe if you've got a building for it. It's equivalent of, like, Death Hill, isn't it? <laughs> if you've got something called that in an area, it encourages it. Knock it down, say, don't do that anymore, it's bad. <laughs> I think it, a lot well, of there you go. Knock it down. What, well, um, anyway, you go in, get your bags, your passport. We've got to get you to the airport. Packing again. Um, this time for Mexico. I mean, it's the same clothes, really. It doesn't matter where I'm going. I've got the same pants, I've got the same T-shirts. Um, maybe a different flavour of crisps. What, what crisps have you got? Uh, Monster Munch, pickled onion. Uh, it's good to have things like this. Um, what, what do you like about Monster Munch? It's just a bit, there's something about them that cheers you up. Not only are they sort of tasty, but just having a little monster to look at when you're fed up. You have one new message. Hello, mate. It's Steve. I've never been to Mexico, but I've heard that it's a pretty lovely place. You know, it's pretty wild. But obviously you've arrived during Easter. Being a very religious country, there's going to be a lot of celebrations going on, and um, we've arranged for you to, to get in the thick of it, and hopefully see uh, Jesus as well, if we could. So, uh, track down a local taxi driver, we should be waiting for him, so he's called Edgar. Cheers, mate! Hey, Carl! How are you doing? Carlos, how you doing, man? I'm all right, yeah. Hey? Carlos, yeah. Yeah? Right. Let's go, What's man. What's happened to you? Eh? This, all this? Yeah, that's a <laughs> crash me, man. Yeah. Okay, is this yeah. yours? Eh? This dog? Yes. That's yours? Yes, yeah, it's Jack. Isn't it? Oh. Normal. Is this a little chihuahua? Yes. What happens, Jack? When you first get them, they're tiny, aren't they? Uh-huh. And a, a friend of my mum had one, sat on a seafront, yeah. a seagull came down took it away. Uh -huh. No seagull, bird. Yes. Came down, grabbed it, took it out to sea. Never saw it again. No shit. No shit. Fucking hell, man. I know. Today is the day of the Jesus Christ die. 
So you wanna, I wanna show you the celebration. This is a good celebration, man. We have a lot of romance, Mexican romance, and well, quite funny, man. I've got a girlfriend. Nice bod. What? Nice bod. Smart. Nice bod. Nice body. Yeah. She used to have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not, you know, I'm not having a go. I used to look better than this. Yeah. So I just think, you know, we're both, we've both sort of lost good, out a little bit. Good tits. Um, yeah, they're fine. I mean, <laughs> it's okay. Right yeah. there. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I've it's never. It's good to have a good, a good body, you know. Oh. Okay, Carlitos. You want to take this street, you know, Prolongacion Juarez. This one here? Yeah, the big celebration of, is over there. See you later, okay. Ciao. Seems to be a big deal here, Easter. Whereas at home, it's just, you know, I said to him, I said, Oh, do you have a chocolate egg? And he was like, What? He had no idea. You don't have chocolate eggs here. I mean, for me, that's what Easter is. Take the eggs away, it's, you know what I mean? It's Friday. Has he fell over? I think it's part of the story. Somebody helps him. I don't know, do you know the Bible story? No, I don't know, but surely he wouldn't want someone helping him, would he? That's like saying, come on, I want to see you get crucified. You say, put it down, don't be helping me. <laughs> it's, a, it's, the, it's the one time in your life where you don't want help. <laughs> oh, coming through again, he's got a rush on. Taken, you know, your life's gonna end, you've got someone with a recorder. <laughs> it's the worst sound going, isn't it? It's the worst instrument that. I'd say do it here. Abran paso, por favor, Juan! I thought it was a proper accident before when he was walking up and he fell over. I thought it was a proper trip and it was, he's obviously hurt his leg up. But it does sort of ruin the whole sort of Jesus type image when, you know, someone from St. John's Ambulance is sticking a bit of Savlon on his knee. You think they're gonna nail him? Not after, because they were so concerned about his knee, putting Savlon stuff on it. I don't think they'd do that and say, right, give us your hands. <laughs> It'd be a bit, uh, be a bit extreme. They used it? to do it until 1984, they used to do it with nails. Here? Yeah. What sort of a nail do you use for that? I always struggle. <laughs> Doing DIY, you just never, you never get it right. I do not know what sort would go through. Oh. Jesus. Well, obviously, you know, all this means a lot to these people, doesn't it? Whereas I've, I've never seen anything like this at home. You know, at home, really, it's a sort of a... It's got religion linked to it, but really, it's just a time of the year for greedy people to feel like they're doing a bit of good. Oh, I love Jesus, me. Have you got any eggs? I mean, why is an egg even involved in it? I don't, I don't know the connection between Jesus and an egg. Because well, he can't be happy with that, can he? If he was on his cross on his last breath and someone said, we're going to remember you, Jesus, and it was like, great, what are you going to do? We're going to have egg. You what? Uh, do you know what I mean? You wouldn't be chuffed with that. It's not like this at home, is it, Easter? You know, my Easter weekend, I'm normally sat watching James Bond or, you know, just nipping out to b and stuff like that, but somehow I can't see that happening here. Since I've been here, you know, I've sort of been thinking about things that I know about Mexico, which isn't that much, but then I just remember seeing a Mexican jumping bean on Sesame Street when I was a kid. Mexican jumping beans. What are you laughing at? I told my mum about them and she was like, what are you on about? She ended up buying me some marbles instead. But I've always wanted to see one in real life. Mexican jumping beans. Mexican jumping beans. Have you heard of them? No. It's like a bean and it jumps about. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know if you're meant to eat them. I don't know if you get them in a food shop or a pet shop. Like a little bean, pop it in your hand. 
thought it'd be like Heinz beans. You can get them anywhere at home. No Heinz beans. You got no brakes. Here. How do you brake? Here. Brake. Here. How? Here. No brake. Here. Oh, You're yeah. mad, you Mexicans. You need brakes. It's not safe. Here. Brake. Did you take any, like, shorts or anything? Did you pack any shorts? Or a leotard or something? No, I didn't pack anything like Good. that, no. It was a long shot, wasn't it? But listen, you, you'll be alright. I've arranged for you to do a bit of wrestling. Wrestling? What, yeah. What's that got to do with the it's Seven Wonders? I'm here to see a wonder. For the general public, that would count as a wonder. It's an honour. It's huge in Mexico, Mexican wrestling. Just go and enjoy it. It'll be funny for me to watch it. I've had enough practice, haven't I? I mean, you know, you've, you've sort of had me in headlock. So. <laughs> you know, <yeah. laughs> And they probably won't be as heavy as me. No, uh, that's, that's a silly. That's a silly. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. All right. I'll see you later. Enjoy yourself. All right. <laughs> Hiya, are you Sandy? Hello. Bloody hell. I'm not doing it in front of a crowd, am I? I'm just getting some training. Yeah, some yeah, training, yeah. yeah. It's good, isn't it? I'm just about to go and uh, wrestle with the shocker. I told Suzanne about it, right? I said, oh, don't be hassling me, I'm about to go wrestling. She sent me a text, be careful. How do you use a DVD player? So that's, that's good, isn't it? She's not that worried. Hey! Nice to meet you, Carlitos. How are you doing? You're Very Shocker. Good. Shocker. I'm Shocker. Very pleased to meet you. Let me show you around. You're a lot bigger than I thought. I thought they would have given me a little fella to sort of try oh, out with. Oh, you want a little fella? How big? This big? Smell. Well, <laughs> no, come Smell here, boy. Sort of kick. Watch. <laughs> I know it's Ricky that set it up, and it's funny, you know, to win. But this is like how accidents happen, and it? it's like the start of casualty. You watch that program, everyone's having fun. It's a party or something. People are going on, on holiday in a bus, and you know it's all going to go wrong. And that's how this feels. It feels like the start of casualty. That's just someone being chucked around. That's going to be me out there. I mean, does he know the full story that I'm here to see the Seven Wonders? I haven't come here to be trained as a. No, he doesn't. No, yeah, well, it's. Uh, I should tell him, really. Look better on you. Wow. You look just like a wrestler. Look like a right knobhead. Hey, come on. Squat and then jump. Can you your legs. go like that? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that's all right. Whoa! Good job! Yeah, really? Yeah, I almost got it. Okay, we're going to start with a basic training of wrestling. Are you ready? No, don't, man. <laughs> You'll be okay in a couple of days. Come on. Ready? You gotta follow the lead, okay? Come on. There you go. See how easy that was? Ah. Well, obviously, you. Ah. Okay? Can I be you in that one? Come on, you shit! Oh, I missed a thing. <laughs> Go! Grab it up! Good job! Oh, that's just... Oh, that's sick. Muevelo, muevelo. You're sick. Don't throw up. Is it normal to feel this sick? Oh, yeah. Do you give up? Yeah. Oh. Come on, Carl. I can't. There's a little bit of one. I can't. 
You see me shaking. It hasn't done me confidence any good, really, because I thought I was fitter than that. What do you think Suzanne said she saw you now? I'm not letting her watch this one. Whenever, whatever night this goes on, I'm going to take her out for something to eat. I want to stay in. No, we're going out. It's the Sunday today, isn't it? So um, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Rick and Steve probably at home doing nothing, and they haven't called up yet and given me any instructions. So I'm just going to have a wander about, see what's going on. Oh, look at yeah, look at the newspapers. Normally we've got Cheryl Cole on the front of our newspapers. Yeah, here, look, fella, sort of done in. Come out. They're not scared of death here in Mexico, are they? They're not worried about it. I mean, our graveyards don't look like this, do they? This looks like a bit of a holiday camp, in a way, with all the different colours and everything. Those sort of beach huts you get in Kent. Oh, this is the thing we've seen, isn't it? The Chichen, Chichen Itza. I mean, I've, I've heard about this um, Day of the Dead that they do. Yeah. Everyone basically has a party to celebrate the dead people. Because we don't do that, we find it all a bit morbid, don't we, death? We don't like to talk about it. We certainly don't have a day dedicated to it. But then we waste days, you know, dedicated to like Pancake Tuesday. Why have we got a day for pancakes? It's the sort of thing my dad would do that. He built a barbecue a bit like this. Little grill bit in there, that was a funnel. All right, mate. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. How are you? It's all right, you know. I'm not having a bad time, eh? Good. Which is an odd thing to say, because I was wrestling yesterday. How'd you get on? Um, it depends. I mean, if it's edited badly, I could come across like a, I'm, I'm weak. But uh, I think right. I've got a few good moves in there. No, obviously it's, uh, it's Easter Sunday. And there's a big, a very authentic Mexican Easter Sunday celebration that's happening today. It's very traditional, but unfortunately the government's still trying to ban it. What do you mean? Um, but there's a local fan out that wants you to get involved. What do you mean, they, what, what, uh, what do you mean about the banning bit? Maybe there's something about the event itself that makes them worried. I'm not sure. I've been here now a couple of days and I've already seen that. They're not really bothered about health and safety. So the fact that there's something that they are worried about the health and safety of means that it must be pretty mental. That's for you to investigate. I'm just waiting here for, for Carlos then, isn't it? Chicken with a gun. Hello, mate. Carlos, how are you Hi. doing? You all right? I'm fine, mate. Otra vez que no se oyó! What are they doing? That's a... Uh, it's kind of a... A whistle. We always do. No, but I, I wasn't that shocked with the whistle. It was sort of the 30-foot the frog that they were carrying. Oh, uh, yeah. It's called the Judas. We use things we don't like and we burn them. They try to, to stop it because it's a bit dangerous. What sort of... danger? Uh get a, an injury but not like death but it's there's a lot of injuries look here's a master craftsman yeah he made fireworks what just on the street like this yeah are these safe look at him is it is has he lost an eye from doing this yeah one of these fireworks you know they turn on and then go like a rocket and then hit you and he got hit in the eye Who's taking the security measures? I haven't seen anyone who looks official. I've seen a fellow with one eye who's in charge of making the, <laughs> yeah, the fireworks. We, we, the, that's why the government tried to ban it. But, but it would help the situation if they just got a fellow with two eyes. Do you know what I mean? Maybe the government would say, well, at least they're trying to make it safer. But I don't, I mean, respect to the man for making a living out of it. But I don't think he's the best man for the job. <laughs> This is a this is a classical torito. Yeah. This one is going to burn. It's 
fucking mental. It's not fucking mental, you'll it see it. You'll, you'll, you'll enjoy it, mate. So all this is gunpowder, yeah? I'm not getting under that. No, you're not getting under that, mate. If you want to go up there to... Well, Jamie's in charge of health and safety, and yet he's fucked off back, you see. So I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. I'm meant to be over there. Is that a safe place? Is that a safe place, mate? Let's go. Let's go. Where's your house? House is all over there. Let's go. Yo, porque ya no, ya no What's this got to do with Jesus? Because it's Easter Sunday. Yeah. There's no hymns going on. There's no chocolate eggs. I mean, I haven't read the Bible, but I, I don't remember anyone mentioning setting fire to a cow with a load of fireworks on it. <laughs> the, the thing is, we burn things and we think that it's Judas Iscariot, you know? It's like a vengeance, you know? You betrayed Jesus Christ, so you can't burn. But I wasn't getting that from that. I just, I just saw lunatics. <laughs> Steve sent me a text, sort of saying, right, you know, stop all your messing about, which is a bit out of order. He's the one who sorted all this out. Yeah. But he said, you know, you're not there for messing about. You're meant to be seeing the, the wonder. So I'm going to uh, make the way over that way today. So you might as well stop off on the way, and meet some charros. Didn't know what they were. He, he said they're uh, sort of Mexican cowboys. Ricky sort of said to Steve to tell me to try a sombrero on. That was the main thing he wanted. Not sort of broadening my mind or meeting local people, trying local food. He just wants me to wear a hat. Close your mouth. Hey! It's not my sort of thing really, you know, cowboys and that. I've never been into them as a kid or anything, but I'll have a look. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, 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 you're Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. They're meant to be like proper men though, aren't they? But then, you know, are they? If I went home and met up with the mates and said, oh, what are you doing these days? And oh, I've got into horses. They'd go, what's, what's happened to you, you, you knob? Do you know what I mean? It's not a very manly thing to do at home. Turn, turn, turn. But for some reason, when you think of cowboys, you do think manliness. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. Oh. <sighs> But I think maybe it's losing it a little bit now. Maybe cowboys aren't like that since, you know, since Brokeback Mountain and the village people. There's been little things eating away at cowboys that are sort of ruining the reputation a little bit. John Wayne, you know, didn't he turn out to be gay? They will bring something to toughen you up a little bit and then you will ride the bull. I can't get on a bull. You shouldn't be getting on a bull. We've got loads of horses here. Why are we messing about on an animal that you don't shouldn't ride? They haven't got brains, have they? they, they, they they'll just run riot. I don't want to do it. We will have just a little drink of tequila to smoothen your muscles and give you a little bit of strength. One kind of tequila. <laughs> 
they put warmth in it. And it's a very nice thing to offer the warm to the guests. What is wrong with you people? May we split it? Just piss arsing about on bulls, drinking worms. I've been wrestling. I've only been here about three days. It's like everyone's daring each other to do something stupid. <laughs> get on a cow, get on a bull. Hey, let's have a wrestle. Eat a worm. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's never ending. It's just... Actually, for us, this is normal, man. I know, but that's yeah. what's frightening. Hey. Do you chew or do you just swallow? Of course you chew and you try to figure out mm -hmm. the flavor and everything. All right, here we go. <coughs> swallow it! <coughs> it's still in there! Oh, God. Oh, fucking hell, man. I don't bend over because I'm going to be sick. Right, well, okay. Let's, let's jump inside. <coughs> yes, yes. Can I see him? Uh, I've caught you out, haven't I? Get him pissed up, stick him on a ball. If anything happens, you just... See, this isn't, this isn't helping, Eugene. You know, seeing I've got to suddenly jump out of the way. Shit! Look, 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 look. Shit! I'm not coming out there. No, seriously, Jamie, I, I can't. There's no way... Look, pack it in. Keep it shut. See. What's that he's got? It's for handling the... Right, exactly. Hey. No, 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 no. No, no. Fucking hell, away. Hey! hey. No, 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 no. No. Oh, God, just let me go home. No. Jesus Christ. Hey, no. Fucking hell. <laughs> what was that? Stop winding me up now. Seriously, hey. right? Enough's enough. Come on. Can you know? No chance. Carl. Get it. Come back, man. Carl. It's your turn. No, Carl. No, leave it. Seriously, I've, I've ridden a horse, I've had a drink, I've eaten a worm. Carl, come back. No. Load of bees here. He's anywhere safe. Do you sell, do you sell Mexican jumping beans? Mexican jumping beans? No. Do you know um, Mexican jumping beans? No. I don't understand why you've never heard of them. One of the best things to come out of Mexico. Little bean. You're all stood around here, nothing to do. You'd love these things. Just pop them on the floor, jump about. You seen that? What is it? It's a thing, isn't it? It's the uh, Chichen Itza that we've seen. I mean, it's meant to be a place that, you know, they used to sacrifice people and all that, but they've stuck it on a number plate. You have one new message. Hello, mate. Steve here, with me. Mr. Now, listen, we've got some Steve, exciting news for you. Um, Chichen Itza was built by an ancient civilization called the Mayans. You're probably aware of that. Uh, but anyway, you're going to be meeting some of the ancestors of the people who actually built it. Just be nice, OK? You'll get... Well, change of plan, isn't it? I thought I was going to be seeing the wonder today, but Ricky and Steve have called up, said, forget that. Um, you're going to be spending the afternoon in a little village with some Mayan people. So... Should be alright, shouldn't it? You know, after all that hassle on the, you know, the horses with the charros and that, it should be a nice little relaxing afternoon, really. Louise. Hola. Hey, how are you doing? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm Carl. Nice to meet you, Carl. Good to see you. You're a big lad. Yeah. Who's this? Here's my uncle. Okay. Jose. Your uncle. Jose. Yeah. Jose. Jose. Nice yeah, to see Jose. you, Jose. The name of this small village is Yashuna. Yashuna has around 500 people. It's a quiet place. It's not like a big city because we don't have a lot of things to do here. 
No, there's nothing to do here, is no, there, really? No, nothing. It's just working in the, in the cornfield, and then you go back to your home. Buenas tardes. Has he had a good day? Is he happy? Eh, uh, que macawobi. Uh-huh. Yes. He say yes. When did he last have a bad day? Eh, uh, in as Kim. Is it there? Never. Never. He's happy every he day. He looks happy. He's got a happy face. Yeah, he exactly. Yeah, yeah he's just smiling. smiling. Everyone just stood around. Look, there's a fella there just playing with a bit of rubber. Now, what day it is? It can't be good for you, this, can it? That fella who was smiling, yeah. has he ever seen <laughs> other life? Has he ever been to say. Well, just here in this little town, living here in the little house. But what happens? Because he doesn't know what he's missing now, does he? Anyway, he said, uh, let's go and knock down a wasp nest. I said, do what? He said, yeah, we knock down the wasp nest and get all the, um, get the lava from it. What do you do with them? Uh, we go to eat it. Lava? Wasp yeah. lava? Yes. You eat yeah. wasp lava? That is the wasp nest. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit in yourself, yeah. wasp. Yeah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> They're all coming out. Seriously, how good can a lava egg taste? Is it worth it? I got one in there. Move your hand, move that hand. Fucking hell, it's on. There it is. Fucking hell. Don't ruin it, okay? Just look at it. No, nothing. These little larvas, <laughs> wasp larvas, are still in life and you can eat it like this. Pero, uh, can I, can Went in the house, tiny place. Tiny place. Tight in here, isn't it? And a woman who was doing the cooking, she'd made some um, tortillas and then they got the larva out of the wasp nest. They said, it's alright, we've, we've stuck them in some chilies and stuff. Oh, I know. Hot, whoa, hot. I can't eat hot. You can, you can hardly taste them, the chilies are the more part. Well, don't put them in then. If it's the chilies that's nice and the sauce, don't bother with the grubs. Ah, Jesus, that's really hot. Um, and then I thought I'd give them some, some you know, new experience. <laughs> What's that? Bit of Monster ah. Munch. Pop it in your mouth. How do you like that? It's good, isn't it? I mean, I think Louise has had stuff like that. You don't get that fat from wasp larvae. I mean, he had a belly on him. And he kept saying, oh, no, it's the wasp stuff. It makes you big and strong. How many are you eating? Because they're only that big, and there's not much fat in them. But the uncle, you could tell he, he was kind of like, oh, this is all right, this. I think he enjoyed it. So I'm happy about that. I gave him a new experience there, I think. And I just was hoping that he'd get a taste of something new. I think, do you know what, I might, I might leave this little village and go into town and get some crisps. Anyway, I have to see the wonder that they built tomorrow. All right, Carl, it's Steve here, mate. How's it going? I am presuming you were suitably impressed by the Mayans, and so now is the time for you to finally see the wonder that they built all those years ago, Kitchen Itza. Sure, I just saw something. Get there before dawn, all right, mate, because you'll miss all the tourists then. And um, it'll be, you know, particularly spectacular because the sun will be coming up. Jealous of you. I'm very jealous of you, mate. Enjoy. What's that? Is someone pumping a tyre up? Every wonder that I've been to so far, I've been whinging a lot, haven't I? So I'm going to try and change my attitude on this one, because that's what this trip's been about, really. I've been eating all sorts of stuff that I wouldn't normally eat. You know, I've been doing things that I wouldn't normally do, so I'm going to try and go there with the idea that I'm going to love it. Is this it? Hello? Yeah, I'm filming now. I'm at the, I'm at the actual wonder. But I told you what to do. You just get the... You get the scart lead. 
that's coming out the back of the DVD player. Yeah, and just stick that in the back of the telly. There's like a, there's two holes. Use the first one. Jesus, I'm at the. Yeah, it looks all right. Yeah, it's just a big pyramid. Right. Well, all all you've got to do is hit that AV button on the remote control, and it'll come up. All right. Talk to you later. Hola. Welcome to Chichen Itza, home to one of the most amazing and advanced cultures in history, the Mayas. I am Gabriela, and I will be your host. Buenos dias, Gabriela. Yes, the Maya were amazing. Archaeologists have uncovered evidence that point to this site as once being covered in human skulls. I mean, we're only sort of just started listening. And straight away, it's like violence. It's just what they used to do with all like these dead heads. Stick the skulls on, frighten people off. So it was it was sort of cladded in heads. If you live around here, you'd constantly be hearing like screaming going on. And as nice as it is, it's lovely. Do you know what I mean? All these trees nice buildings and that, but that would make me go, I want to move, to be honest, having all that going on all the time, someone's screaming the tripe out. Uh... This would have been a good hiding place when you think about it. If you're, if you're due to have your head cut off, great place to sort of run around, isn't it? Got too many though, haven't they? It's like an Ikea for, like, columns, isn't it? Which one, which one do you want? Well, any, they're all the same, just... Can't get shot of them. How many do you want? How many do you need? Standing at the Tampantli, you can still get that eerie feeling that the Spaniards felt when they first witnessed the human sacrifice conducted by the indigenous people throughout this region. Jesus, that is big, isn't it? It's coming this way. Okay, now. I love that. Want some more? Yeah, it's seen it. Yeah, I'll have a bit more of that. It's weird how you can have something in common with something so different. That's like millions of years old, isn't it? But it still likes a hobnob. In most religions, an afterlife is a realm of. I'm up to here with this. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Even though it's like a bad vibey area with a better human league, it's happier, isn't it? <laughs> oh, why? Yeah, of course it is. The pesh mode. If they would have, like, Televise the sacrificing. Sky TV having this. Just can't get enough. Cut another one off. Oh, here we go, look. Here we go. It's already starting. More tap. Oh, yeah. Got any um, jumping beans? Mexican jumping beans. No. Do you know anyone who does around here? No. No one? No. Why not? <laughs> I tell you, you'd make a killing. Yeah, no, no, no. Just get rid of half the plates, have it's some jumping it. beans. It's, it's getting busy now, isn't it? <laughs> What's the clapping thing about? Cheers. Oh, now I'm hearing it. It's like a boing, boing, yeah, boing. Yeah. boing. Is that me doing yeah. that? Just fluke, though, innit? That, that can't be... Whoever designed that didn't say to the builder, right, listen, I need some sort of structure, some sort of platform that we can cut heads off. We want the head to roll down, 
And then just at the bottom, something where I clap and it sort of bounces back. They wouldn't, that just wouldn't be on the to-do list. Is that, I mean, who, who, you know, is that what they really wanted this to be like when they built it? This wonder, a wonder of the world. Is she all right here? This woman's fainted. Oh. You see, though, look, everybody loves it. It gets a bigger crowd than the wonder now. Because people go, what's going on, Elsie? I don't know, get the camera out. I think they're dying. Okay. Oh, she's still alive. Let's move on. The yeah, ambulance now. I prefer to get out of here now. I feel like I've seen it. I've had a bit of a lesson with this. It's been all right. It's not been my favourite bit of Mexico, if I'm honest. Not more people flogging shit. I'm half tempted just to sort of fall over like that woman and get a lift home. I'm going home today. Well, it's all right, you know, I'm always sort of happy about going home. But, um, but I've enjoyed it here quite a lot. I'd probably say it's my favourite place I've ever been to, which is a pretty big statement, isn't it? I mean, the wonder wasn't great. I wouldn't say come to Mexico to see the wonder. It's everything else. There doesn't seem to be any sort of rules. They just do what they want to do. And I felt like I've been able to do what I want to do whilst I've been here, really. That's something else as well. Women are quite, um, you know, they look quite big, big people, a lot of them. Do you like that? In a way, because they don't care. At home, women don't eat what they want to eat, do they? You go, what are you having? They'll go, you know, I'll say to Suzanne, oh, we have chippy. Yeah, all right, I'll just have, I'll just have haddock. And then I, I go, well, I'm having cod and chips, and then you get them. And she's like, can I have some chips? No, you can't. You had the option to have chips. But you said you don't want to. It's all that thing about weight, whereas here, she's having chips. She's having chips day in, day out. She's not bothered. And I quite like that. It's, it's a sort of a, a free spirit they've got, isn't it? They live the life they want to live. Which we don't really do at home. You know, I, I like it. I think I could live here for a bit. The only thing that I'm a bit sort of gutted about is not seeing a Mexican jumping bean. Yeah. Next time on An Idiot Abroad. Truly one of the seven wonders of the world. Great pyramids. If that was on my road, the council would be on it. They'd go, get that down. It's a death trap. <laughs> it's like a game of Jenga that's got out of hand. How long are we here? When Michael Palin goes working around the world... What's going on? Is this what it's like for him? Bollocks are squashed. Next time someone says, have you seen the pyramids, I'll say, have I seen them? I've been in them. Yeah, you don't see that in the brochure, do you? Shitty old nappy whizzing through the air. Last week, Lily Allen and Jimmy Carr kicked off the brand new series, and this week, tennis legend Tim Henman is serving for the Reds, and broadcasting star Chris Evans joins the Blues. A League of Their Own is coming up next. And have you been keeping up with Skywind's gripping new detective drama? Thorn Sleepyhead continues Sunday at 9.